Hey everyone, Curly Chronicles here, and today, Thanksgiving Day, I decided I'm gonna vlog. Yeah, I'm gonna vlog. Why? Because it's a nice, fun, easy sort of thing. I hope I don't regret it. I, I, vlogging seems hard sometimes, but I'm gonna go for it. So, um, as always, I woke up like this. Wasn't supposed to sleep in this. This is my nice cashmere throw tunic. Tunic? I don't know. Tunic? It's got an armhole. This one doesn't have an armhole. I just tied it at the bottom. Whatever. I wasn't supposed to sleep in this. But I woke up like this. And I decided, you know what? I am not tying my hair up tomorrow or tonight. I am just going to just... So, let's see what it looks like. And let's see where we can get it. Right? Okay. Oh. Huh. Okay. Usually, usually fingers in here and I start to do that. I start to do that stuff. Let's see. Huh. A fro, a curly fro. A sort of disheveled Huey curly fro. I'm with it. Awesome. <laughs> Good job, Cap. Good job. No Cap. Is that how the kids say it? No Cap? <laughs> so, I am going to take you all through a typical weekend day. I am still new. I have not been in Georgia very long. I moved here the last week of August. So, um, it's, we're still pretty new. There's still boxes. You shall see. You will see. And so we're still doing stuff. As you can see, there is a strip of painter's tape on the wall and a patch test of paint right there because I still have not gotten to painting the ceiling. Truth be told, if I don't do it, I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm going to get to that soon. But anywho, here's a day in my life and you just happen, it just happens to so be on Thanksgiving. Here's a day in my life that just so happens to be Thanksgiving. So I hope you enjoy. Oh, and luckily I have my little tool. It's not very expensive, but it's something that's really helpful, um, a gimbal. And I have wanted one for a very long time and I just kept putting it off. So I finally got one. I didn't know you could do as much as you can do with them. I thought it was really just a glorified tripod that kind of stabilized, you know, your video and stuff. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff on here. I better get reading. I better do some tutorials. <laughs> but um, I just really wanted uh, something that would kind of help me um, film and pan. And I did not know all of those cool features, but I look forward to learning those. And um, perhaps I can be my own production company and not have to pay anybody. Yay! So yeah, that's gonna be fun. So expect some fun shots, hopefully, maybe, don't, don't. Don't rely on me too much for that. I might t completely suck. I don't know yet. We'll see. Let's start with the morning. All right, so the first thing I do is I have some tea. This is my very burnt kettle because I took it outside to the fire pit. And I've also left it on the electric burner for far too long. Sometimes my ADHD gets the best of me and I forget about the task that I started. Not a good, not a good thing for this particular task. It involves fire. Anywho, um, I always start off with a little bit of tea in the morning because I just think it helps me start my day. And I like white tea um, because if it's good enough for Chinese royalty, it is good enough for me. So yes, that is what we're doing. And, um, I will pretty much find a mug. What mug? What mug do I want today? What mug? I think we're gonna go with. Oh, let me pan down. Boop. Whoop. The other way. <laughs> we're gonna go with this mug. Dana's got one too. Mine is cuter. Ha ha ha. No, just kidding. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get some water boiling, and uh, then we're gonna go sit and take in the nice morning views 
and then just enjoy the quiet, you know, just kind of hang out. Okay, so while my tea is teeing and whatnot, I'm going to get to some of my other projects that I can handle. One of those projects is sprouts. I am sprouting seeds. I will show you guys how to do this. Y'all, I hate saying you guys. You see how conditioned we are? I will show you guys. I have been sprouting broccoli and friends sprouts. It's a combination of sprouts of alfalfa, probably reddish. Uh, I think there might be red clover broccoli. And um, I love sprouts. I think they're great. I like making my own uh, fresh spring rolls, like my Thai basil spring rolls. Those are amazing. I make them myself and they're not that difficult. So I have to rinse these in some water and then let them continue to drain. So I'm going to do that. And usually I just do enough to kind of get them, let me turn it this way, saturated. And maybe, just maybe I should turn on the light. That might be a good idea. Let's also get some natural. Okay. I set that down for a second and let me get the light. A little bit better but not really but anywho let's bring you guys up here doo, doo, doo. so yeah I'm straining them and as you can see some of them are sprouting up yay so I'm thinking another three days maybe they'll be ready what you want to do is you want to have your sprouts in that jar with the mesh top and then I'll show you here. You want to have it in this tray so it can kind of be pointed down. Let's see if I can up is up is down. Nope. Up is up. Down is down. <laughs> and you just want it to be able to, you know, have a little tray underneath it or a container so it can catch the excess water that gets drained out throughout the day and you want to keep this in indirect uh, you don't want any direct light on it so I just throw a towel over it and in about four days five days maybe it will be ready I think I, I don't keep track of how many days it's been it's uh, up there we go it's probably been two days so I'll probably have another four I just kind of gauge it. it you can grow them to where they're really long or you can kind of keep them kind of small it's not really that big of a deal whatever you like the most uh, and then those will go into spring rolls those will go into salads um, sometimes I make a very simple salad with them and balsamic vinegar very simple very easy very nutritious for you so what else am I working on my next project, I'm a very inquisitive person. If there's one thing that people should know about me, let's maybe, yeah. It's that I'm extremely, extremely, extremely inquisitive. I love to learn things and I like to like just putter around and tinker with things. I, I am a huge tinkerer, okay? So, um, and it just happens to be in the food area a lot of the time. So what else am I working on? I am working on, ooh, she's, uh, ooh, she's, she's been talking. She's been doing some things overnight. Um, this is, let me be very careful because this is highly fermentable. This is my sauerkraut that I am making. And as you can see, it has dripped over itself into this container that is normal during the fermentation process. And I am starting to see bubbles down here. That's great. You wanna make sure you keep your liquids um, 
over all of the vegetables because you cannot have oxidation of the vegetables or they will start to mold and get kind of gross. So, um, anyone interested in a very simple kimchi video? Kimchi. Kimchi is what I typically make. I am going to be doing kimchi soon too. So y'all might get that. But if does anyone have an interest in sauerkraut or kimchi? I plan on showing you all everything, all the stuff, just because it's kind of fun. I find it to be really interesting. Um, it's really good for you. Fermented foods are fantastic for your gut. And uh, I am trying to, like I said, I'm trying to age gracefully, okay? So there will be more of that. Um, but yeah, anyone super interested in kimchi or sauerkraut, sprouts, let me know. Last but not least, I have to water my uh, green onions. I'm going to plant these. I'm going to transfer them outside, but I've been a little bit lazy the last few days. And so I just keep them in a little container, just like a old teacup that I had. And I keep them in there for a little while and a little bit of water. They will do just fine in a windowsill. And then you can transfer those outside into some potting soil. Um, and they will do lovely, just lovely. I have actually been tr uh, trimming off um, a few others that I have outside. I'll show you those uh, at a certain point today too. And um, those have been doing well. They have added to my meals. I haven't had to buy any, although I did buy another bunch because I want to have a huge amount growing at one time. Oh, I hate when I can't see, I can't see the camera hole. So it's just, I'm just looking up here and I hope that I'm fine. I hope I got it. I don't know. Whatever. Just, just, just run with me on this. Okay. Let's get back to the tea. So now I have my cup of tea and usually I hang out in the window uh, in the front with Paws. There's Paws the cat. She is probably staring at a squirrel and we usually just hang out here for a little bit and chill. You watch any squirrels? Sometimes she talks to me but if she's really curious about something and she's laser focused she will not talk to me. Let's see. Popeyes. Popeyes. Hey. Popeyes. You good? You good? You focused on something? You my mama? She kind of said something, but you couldn't see it. Yeah, the tail's gone. I think she sees a squirrel. That's cool. We'll talk later, okay? Here's a clip of me and Paws talking since she doesn't want to talk. You so cute, cat. Yeah, you are, huh? I know. Okay. So we just got um, concrete poured yesterday. And uh, as you can see, it is setting. It's looking nice. Let's see if I can use this gimbal properly. I am sucking at it, sort of. But so far, you know, I'm kind of getting the hang of it as well. It's not taking forever. They left a water bottle down there. That's cool. I'll get that. No problem. Thanks for laying that the day before Thanksgiving. I am very grateful. 
Um, yeah, Paws is out here looking at like squirrels and stuff, sometimes lizards. And I am looking at the trees <laughs> and the sun. Here we can go. Ah, oh, they're bumping into stuff. Too close to the window. We'll go outside and get some views too, but it's cold right now. It's kind of cold. So, but yeah, I just look, I just look outside and just enjoy the nature's. That's how far away the cars are. I can see them, but they don't bother me so much. Lovely views. <laughs> you all are gonna get some random thoughts from me today, so I hope you're ready. That's not the top of the camera, Autumn. That's the top of the camera. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> random thought, number one. To whoever designed this mug, shout out to you for putting the A on both sides because oftentimes people forget about the left-handed people, the South Paws, and they only put it on the side that shows if you're right-handed. And I just wanna say, I do not appreciate that, but I do appreciate you designers out there who think of the left-handed people out in the world too. And I especially appreciate the person who came up with the left-handed Southpaw style um, spiral notebook. I see you. Thank you. <laughs> I am playing a wolf wheelbarrow. Blah. Blah, blah. Wheelbarrow? <laughs> Why can't I say wheelbarrow? Jesus Christ. I'm putting this together and Inspector Paws is always there to help. We have to put water on the cement and this wheelbarrow will help us drag some buckets around. So that's what we're doing. Hey, 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 Papas. Papas, Papas, Papas. Hey, you help it? Sometimes these red elements won't go like this, so. Okay, so the cement, the cement contractors, they sound like they're trying to do some fisticuffs. They sound like they're trying to dance out there. And I'm like, you guys, not on my property. Not on property, not on my property, like, come on. I heard somebody say puto, and I was like, <laughs> Oh goodness, look, I got my hair all messed up, look at me you guys get it together get it together <laughs> oh, had to document that one <laughs> i'm sure to be fine 